This video shows how you can use Global Shipping Watch, a pilot platform that delivers, for the first time, information on the cargo transported by individual vessels, the companies that own the cargo, and the shipping emissions associated to global maritime trade. You can learn more by exploring www.globalshipping.watch. The site contains materials explaining the methodology and the data underlying the platform, as well as the potential applications for decreasing shipping emissions and improving global trade logistics. The information can be accessed in two different ways, through the demo map and the dashboard, accessible on the top right corner of the main Global Shipping Watch page. We start with the map. Once you click, a new tab appears. You need to accept the disclaimer. The information is organized per country of export or import under the section Trade Context. Currently, there are eight contexts to explore. For example, we look at the US containerized exports in the year 2019. Once the context is loaded, you need to click on Search. All maritime exports of containerized goods by the US appear, and they are represented in a global map with yellow lines. Each yellow line is a cargo ship journey. As you can see in the upper right scoreboard, the basic statistics of the selection appear, indicating, for example, that there were 7,046 vessel journeys by 1,338 different ships associated to U.S. containerized exports. We will look at all these statistics in detail later in this video. Global Shipping Watch offers the capacity of filtering any context by inputting user-selected queries. For example, we might be interested in the U.S. exports of vehicles in general. We select Vehicles in the Commodity Filter and click Search. The map now shows a smaller amount of journeys, 4,760 in this case. These correspond to those of the vessels that had at least one vehicle or vehicle parts item in their cargo, so there are still a lot of vessel journeys on display. Imagine now that you are interested in exports of Tesla cars and or vehicle parts. Then you would click in Exporter in the Companies filter and digitize Tesla. Click Search again and this new filter is applied. Now the number of relevant journeys has decreased to just 96, carried by only 44 different vessels. You can see in the map that most of the vessels depart from Texas and make a stop in the northeast coast of the U.S. before reaching Europe, or they depart from California in their way towards Asia. This makes sense since Tesla produces cars in California and Texas. Digging deeper, we might be interested in vessels carrying Tesla products that end up being consumed in the Netherlands, for example. We write Netherlands in the Countries filter and, as always, click in the Search button. The amount of transport journeys goes down to just 39, using just 8 different vessels. You can now click in any of the lines representing the journey of interest. Or, if you have a vessel of interest, you can write its name directly in the Vessels filter. For example, we query the ship Mask Idaho. This ship seems to be very active in carrying containers that include at least one Tesla-owned item, because it has made trips to Europe seven times in 2019. We now select one of the journeys. It gets highlighted in green, and an information panel comes up on the right side. You could have triggered this panel at any time by simply clicking in any yellow line representing a cargo ship journey. The panel provides information on that journey, vessel name and type, country of flag, port of departure and destination, the length of the journey, or the number of port stops on the journey. 
The total emissions between the port of origin and destination is also shown in tons of CO2 equivalents. While we estimated the emissions of all relevant gases, we display the CO2 equivalents for the sake of simplicity. But the full detail is stated in the Global Shipping Watch database. The different stretches of the journey are also displayed with their respective contribution to total emissions. For example, most emissions in the selected journey were related to the stretch from Norfolk to Brixham. Below that you can see the cargo weight and its value during the selected journey and under that information the top five companies that are involved as exporters and importers with their respective amount of cargo weight, value and associated emissions. The emissions are allocated according to the proportion of cargo. For example, if one company owns 40% of the cargo weight of a given vessel, then 40% of the emissions of that vessel journey are assigned to that company. The same applies to the different cargo types and the countries to which the cargo is shipped, which are also ranked according to their total weight, value and emissions. It is important to understand that the Global Shipping Watch map is showing just a small part of the information. A single vessel can carry hundreds of cargo types owned by dozens of companies and with multiple destinations. It would be almost impossible to efficiently serve this information in a single demo map. The complete information is contained in the Global Shipping Watch database. You can design your own queries and even combine more than one query per filter, for example looking at exports by the companies Tesla and Ford combined. The scoreboard is the only information panel that offers information on groups of vessels and it always reflects the fleet filtered by the user. The left panel shows the number of journeys and vessels involved in the user selection. The middle panel summarizes the nautical miles covered by the selected ships, their cargo volume in tons and the cargo value in US dollars. The right panel shows the associated carbon emissions and different emissions intensity indicators. The info tool buttons provide definitions and explanations for all these elements. The demo map we just explored is a good tool for users interested in maritime shipping, its logistics and the information per vessel and even per maritime journey. But many users are more interested in understanding the footprint of companies, products, investors or countries. For those users we developed a dashboard showcasing the role of specific actors in driving maritime shipping emissions. The dashboard can be queried for the main global companies. It would be impossible at this stage of Global Shipping Watch to provide information on the tens of thousands of exporter and importer companies that Global Shipping Watch covers. Of course, the information for all companies is stored in the Global Shipping Watch database. You start by selecting a context of interest, same as with the demo map. However, you need to apply at least one filter to be able to request the data. For example, you can select the US containerized exports and Tesla as an exporter company, the same as we did before in the demo map. After you click select, you see that Tesla appears as selection 1 and a series of bar graphs activate below. They represent measurements such as total emissions, emissions intensity, total cargo weight and cargo value. You can select which measurements are shown up to three at the same time. Selections can contain more than one variable. For example, you can be interested in Tesla imports by the Netherlands and click the select button. Now you can see two selections in display, one for Tesla, red bars, and one for exports by Tesla to the Netherlands in blue bars. You can continue creating queries until eight different selections have been made and you can eliminate any selection by pressing the cross button on the right of each selection. Overall you can select up to three different supply chain variables and two maritime variables at the same time. You could for example be interested in carriers operators for which there is a large list or types of vessels. 
You can also query specific cargo types, whether by their name or their harmonized system classification code. It is important to consider that while here we provide with HS4 detail and a limited number of just the big companies, the Global Shipping Watch database contains the full detail per shipment with the same detail as the bills of lading. That information will be used for research purposes and offline analyses. Once you have created your queries, you can always download the data in table format, CSV or XLS, by simply clicking on the export button in the lower right corner. You can learn more by exploring www.globalshipping.watch.